there are a few different ways that I approach the research that I do uh, when I'm trying to discover fresh resources that I can dig into uh, to find nuggets to share with my coaching clients and subscribers. So this week I ran across a video of an interview with Diddy and his mentor, Ray Dalio. Uh, Ray is the author of the book Principles, which Diddy recommends as required reading for entrepreneurs. So after watching this video, I was inspired to actually find this book and uh, share what I learned from Ray's tips to guarantee success in achieving goals with you in my top five today. Before I get into today's video, I first want to say thank you to everyone that watched our very first Bizspiration Top 5 video. I was reading the comments and found that you guys found the content valuable. And so I'm really, really excited about that and encouraged because we're going to continue to offer you content that we hope really does add value to your work and your life. And we're sharing what we know works at the intersection of business and inspiration. My name is Christy Jackson. I am an entrepreneurship coach and speaker and listen in this week to our top five ways to expand your value in setting your goals. Step one, set goals. And what I found interesting is that there is a difference between setting goals and your desires. Looking at your goals as those things that you need to do and your desires are those things that you want. And sometimes we mix up the two. We want to lose weight. We want to travel more. But actually establishing more discipline in your life should be a goal because those are things that you need to do to allow you to get to those desires that you want to achieve in life. Number two. Finding problems on the way to your goals. Now, this is really a step that's inevitable. Anytime you set a goal, you're working to achieve or accomplish something, you are going to run into stumbling blocks or problems along the way. But I think that this is the most exciting part because it gives you the practice that you need to persevere through challenges. It gives you the practice that you need to develop the grit that you need to establish uh, behaviors that are going to let you keep pushing even though you run into barriers are challenges. So those problems are really key to helping you achieve those goals. And the more practice that you have with developing more grit, developing more perseverance, you're going to move that much closer to your goals. Number three, discovering the root cause to your problems. Now, oftentimes we focus on the effect. Like what is the outcome of the challenge? Instead of really looking internally, looking more deeply at the core of the issue, what is the problem? Sometimes you may struggle with timeliness, but what is that? Is really timeliness the issue that you struggle with? Or is it a lack of planning? Is that the root? Is a lack of planning really the issue that you deal with? Or is it a lack of focus? So really kind of dial back looking at those challenges to discover really what is the root cause and that's what you need to address to allow you to get closer to your goals as opposed to focusing on the outcomes or the problems. Number four, design solutions. And I really like using the word design when it comes to solutions because you're giving yourself, um, you're looking at yourself as an architect, right? You are creating multiple uh, scenarios, multiple opportunities for you to solve these problems. And when you think about an artist, that is creating, you're taking time to establish, putting together those pieces that you know work, but still experimenting with those um, strategies, with those steps that could work. And you're giving yourself the grace to design, to experiment. And if those strategies and steps don't work, you go back to the drawing board and design more solutions. Oftentimes we put more pressure on ourselves than we need to because we're trying to get right to the perfect answer the very first time. But practice does make perfect. And lastly, do it, test it out. We can run all of these scenarios in our head over and over, but if you don't actually put it into practice, you're never going to be able to evaluate how effective it is and if it actually gets you closer to your goals. So setting goals are great, but if you don't follow the steps to achieve them, if you're not doing the work to get closer to them, you will not achieve them. You want to get it from your head to the paper, to the action. So you wanna think about the goals, you wanna write down the goals, and then you want to actually execute the goals through action. 
If you found any of the steps that we've shared valuable, please leave a note in the comments to let us know which one really is helpful to getting you closer to reaching your goals. If you want to learn more about Bizspiration, if you are finding a, a value in the strategy and the inspiration that we're sharing, check out our website. We have live events that we're also hosting across uh, the city that we want you to be a part of. So follow us on our social media platforms, leave a comment so that we can respond to you and stay connected to our community. 